What's going on everybody? Welcome to another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews, exclusively here as always on the Casa D18 Studios channel. I, of course, am your host, the Renegade JJ Williams, and today is a sad day here as it is our final look into the Disney vault, and we're going to wrap the month up with an extremely goofy movie starring Bill Farmer, Jason Marsden, Jeff Bennett, Jim Cummings, Vicki Lewis, B.B. Newirth, Rob Paulson, Pauly Shore, Brad Garrett, Kath Salsi, Jenna Von Oy, Cree Summer, and Patty Edwards. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for joining me here once again for another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews. And like I said during the introduction, today is the final day of Disney animated movies. Today we close the doors on the Disney vault after we take a look at an extremely goofy movie. And our movie opens with Max Goof and his friends, PJ and Bobby, getting ready to head off to college. As a result, Goofy begins to disastrously falter during his job at the local toy factory, which results in his termination following an accident that he causes. Now at the unemployment office, Goofy is told that he needs a college degree in order to get another job since he dropped out of college after his junior year back in the 1970s. Meanwhile, Max and his friends meet Bradley Uppercrest III, the leader of the Gamma Mu Mu fraternity and a veteran skateboarder. Bradley is impressed by Max's own skateboarding talent, and he invites him to join the Gammas in order to take part of the college's X Games. However, Max declines the offer due to the fact that he can't bring Bobby and PJ along. Following a skirmish, the two parties place a bet in which the loser becomes the other group's cowboy. Much to Max's horror, Goofy begins attending the exact same college and interrupts the group's downtime with chores. Max then decides to distract his dad by introducing him to the college librarian, Sylvia Marple, with whom he has much in common with. Goofy accidentally impresses Bradley with his clumsy attempt at skateboarding and is then invited to join the Gammas, which he accepts upon Max's encouragement. During the first qualifiers for the X Games, Bradley discreetly blinds Max with a pocket mirror during his performance and installs a rocket booster onto Goofy's skateboard. Goofy ends up beating Max during the qualifiers, and Max's team barely makes the semifinals. Eventually, Max lashes out at Goofy, telling him to stay out of his life, and he storms off in anger. A depressed Goofy then fails his first midterm exam and misses a date with Sylvia as a result. Returning home, Goofy is inadvertently inspired by his neighbor Pete to go back and regain his focus. Goofy then goes back to college, reconciles with Sylvia, who helps him ace the rest of his exams. As Goofy quits the Gammas, he overhears the group plotting to cheat for the semifinals. But Max, still angry with his dad over beating him in the qualifiers, refuses to listen to the warning. At the semifinals, all of the teams except for Max's and the Gamma's are eliminated. And just before the final triathlon, Bradley eliminates PJ from the games, leaving Max's team short one player, which causes Max to apologize and recruit his dad over the Jumbotron. Throughout the race, Bradley and his team attempt to hinder Max's team but they fail. 
Although Goofy manages to temporarily knock out Bradley with a horseshoe during the final section of the race, Bradley's final trick results in his second-in-command, Tank, as well as Max, getting trapped underneath the wreckage of the next game's logo. As Bradley passes them by, Max and Goofy rescue Tank, who then assists Max in winning the race. Afterwards, Bradley concedes his defeat as good sportsmanship and tells Max that he will honor their bet. However, Max calls off the bet, allowing a vengeful Tank to advance on Bradley for betraying him, and he flings him into the X Games blimp overhead. During graduation day, Max gives Goofy his grand prize trophy, engraved with an affirmation of their bond as an apology gift for his outburst towards him just before Goofy drives off with Sylvia, restoring their relationship as our movie comes to its end. Much as I said when we discussed the original Goofy movie earlier this month, I'm still not really sure why Goof Troop was chosen for the movies when you had Rescue Rangers, Tailspin, and Darkwing Duck, all of which I think would have made much better movies, or even doing a sequel to DuckTales the movie Treasure of the Lost Lamp. I thought there was so much more that could have been done. But they went with Goof Troop. I do find some parts of this movie better than the original Goofy movie, but I feel where it lacks are in two spots. Number one, the music. I feel like the music in the first one, far superior, especially with Tevin Campbell as Powerline doing Stand Out and Eye to Eye. There is not a single song in this movie that is iconic as Eye to Eye. Period. Point blank. I also feel the fact that Roxanne wasn't in this movie was a bit of a hindrance. Max had gone to such great lengths to impress her in the first movie for her not to even have a cameo appearance at college, I feel was a, a blunder on their behalf. The librarian, Sylvia, to me, kind of looks like she could have been Roxanne's mom. And I even mentioned that to my daughter, and she's like, I can't unsee it now. Because in the original film, we see Roxanne's dad, but we don't see her mom. Sylvia kind of looked like she could have been Roxanne's mom to me. What do you guys think? Let me know. But... All in all, I didn't dislike an extremely goofy movie, but I don't know if I enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed the original. When it comes to my rating for an extremely goofy movie, I'm going to give it three out of five stars. Like I said, I feel like some of the story elements, like I said, I feel like some of the story elements far superior to the original. However, I feel like the songs seriously faltered on this one. What do you think? If you're watching the premiere, leave your thoughts and comments over here. If you're watching on demand later in the day, leave your thoughts and comments down here. It's the last Disney movie of the month. If you haven't yet, let's engage with that conversation over this film. Make sure you guys tune in tomorrow, right here to the Casa D18 Studios channel for another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews. And it's new release Saturday. We're going to be taking a look at The Gray Man, starring Ryan Gosling, Chris Evans, Anna de Armas, Jessica Henwick, Wagner Mora, Julia Butters, Alfre Woodard, and Billy Bob Thornton. You're not going to want to miss out on that right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel right here on another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews, new release Saturdays, The Gray Man. To all my loyal fans and viewers out there, thank you so much for tuning in and joining me today. 
greatly appreciate it. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure those notification bells are turned on. That way you are notified and up to date for all my new content as it drops. Share this video with your family, friends, movie lovers, Disney fanatics, goofy fans, whoever it is out there that you can think of that would enjoy watching this video. Share it with them. Help boost up my visibility in the YouTube algorithms. Help me get monetized by the end of the year. Blah, blah, blah. You know the spiel. Thank you once again to all of you guys who tuned in with me this month. I hope you enjoyed this look at movies from the Walt Disney Animation Studios, movies from inside the Disney Vault. I will see you guys next time.